hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm just going to be showing you guys the difference between a t-part wig a closure wig and a frontal wig and i'm also going to be show you, going to be showing you how i actually installed this t-part wig and how easy and simple it was okay so i can't remember what i did with the footage of the actual unboxing but this is a t-part wig this is what it looks like straight out of the box it comes from eon hair company i did go in just put a little bit of face makeup on that part so you guys can see the inside of the wig and how it's kind of constructed and all I'm gonna do is cut the lace off guys it's been a lot of questions on you know what is a t-part wig and are they new and you know what are they all about so like I said this video is going to be for you so you guys could you know get to know it a little bit better and kind of what separates it from other styles of wigs all right i will have all the specs down below so make sure you guys stay tuned for the specs and also the in-depth review all right guys hey guys welcome back to my channel okay so in today's video i will be talking about the specs of this unit and i will also be breaking down the difference between a frontal wig a closure wig and also a t-part wig okay so if you would like to learn all this information and also the specs on this wig just keep on watching all right guys so let's get right into it but first i will get into the specs of this wig and then we'll talk about the differences between the different wigs because i know there is a lot of questions as to what's what it's always some kind of new wig uh coming out okay so let's get right into it the wig that i'm wearing now comes from eon hair company so i have reviewed from this company a lot a lot of times if you do want to see other videos from this company of wigs that i have done i've almost had almost every wig on the site um all you have to do is type in my name in the youtube search bar and also type in eon and it'll bring it up or just find a wig on the website and type it in and you know most likely i would have been have uh reviewed it and it'll bring that up okay so let's get right into it so this is what the wig looks like guys so what i did was and i showed you guys the inside of the cap in earlier clips so all i did was took the wig out of the box i gave it a good wash and um all i did was just put it into the middle part which it already comes in the middle part because this is the t part but i gave it a good wash um and after i gave it a wash i just let it air dry so these are the natural curls i didn't want to put any type of product in it or anything and this, there's absolutely no product in it at all okay so the only thing that i did was i washed it with shampoo and conditioner conditioner and I combed it out and I let it sit on a mannequin head overnight because I wanted you guys to see what the natural curl pattern looked like without any type of a manipulation or anything this is the natural shine as well there's no serum or nothing in here so it's, it's pretty awesome okay so the wig already came ready to go all right so let's get right into it i want you guys to see this hairline so the hairline goes all the way uh to my ears so a lot of people ask you know what's the difference between a frontal a closure and a t-part wig okay so let's get into the t-part wigs first because of course i already have it on and it kind of plays into the review so a t-part wig is just what it says it is it's shaped in a T however it is more affordable than a frontal wig and can be in most cases more affordable than a closure wig as well and I do feel like they're a little bit easier than both wigs in a certain sense I feel like they're more beginner friendly way more beginner friendly so if you're just now getting into wigs I would suggest uh, doing a T part before a closure and before a frontal so basically there is uh, lace from here to here and there's lace from ear to ear now the difference between a frontal and a t-part is there's no lace on the sides so this is just literally a t so you're going to get a natural look from this part and you can't part it anywhere else you just part it in the middle and you'll get a natural uh hairline okay and you can also put it up in ponytails or in buns and things like that you just can't like part it on the sides and do braids and things but 
I don't really do a lot of styles like that. I'm pretty basic when it comes to things like this. So it works. The uh, T part works for me. As you guys can see, it looks exactly like a frontal. Can even it even looks like a closure. Nobody's ever gonna know unless I don't know unless they go on and you wanna try to do some somebody tries to do some braids in your wig or something and uh, it reveals your secret. So that is pretty much a T part. So I will add what the cap looks like right here so you guys can in fact see the actual T that goes on all right so for the average wig wear I would definitely recommend the T part okay so let's get into frontal wigs I will put a frontal wig right here I think a lot of people are very very familiar familiar with frontal wigs so the only difference is that you get the whole front to customize so if you want to do braids if you want to part it anywhere you like to different do different little zigzag parts and things like that frontal wigs are for you okay as you can see, you get a little bit more versatility when it comes to a frontal wig, especially if you don't like middle parts, then I would recommend you doing a frontal wig, okay? So, let's move right along, and we're going to get into closure wigs. So, closure wigs are evolving. Now, when wigs first came out, there were only, I think they're called 4 by 4s That's the basic closure. Now, there's 4 by 4s 5 by 5s 6 by 6s 7 by 7s and I've even seen 8 by 8s But I feel like once you get longer and longer, with the closure you might as well just do a frontal I mean because at that point it keeps extending 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 so why not just do full frontal okay but anyways here is a couple examples of some frontals okay so I'm gonna try to add four times four six times sixes and seven times sevens so it'll be right here so you guys can see what I'm seeing so with frontal wigs you do get a little bit more versatility as well and you can kind of switch up your parts a little bit more okay in case you want to now also with frontal wigs you won't get the sides okay cuz see this goes ear to ear like a frontal okay but with a closure wig you're not gonna you're not gonna get that okay you're just pretty much gonna get your scalp part it's kind of gonna look like this in the front and you're not really too much gonna get the the side look but you it is more ver it could be more versatile in many ways than a T part okay so I hope that kind of explained the difference between some things because some people were a little confused which is completely fine wigs are involved evolving every day just like cell phones and other kind of different electronic devices and fashion and things and some people just can't keep up and some people are getting into the realm of wigs but they don't really know where to start and they don't really know the difference okay doesn't mean you're stupid doesn't mean you don't really know it's just that sometimes it's a lot to get into um, and going like you know head first into it sometimes it's just not the answer so I hope that that was a lot of information for you guys I hope it was very helpful um, I know that the styling for this wig wasn't a whole whole lot but the wig was so easy it was just as simple as taking it out of the box I did a quick pre-wash and I let it dry overnight and I came to you guys with the video okay so it's beginner friendly it's affordable and you know it's easy you know and who doesn't like easy and also I think we all like the water wave natural wave type look I'm not completely sure what the exact name of this wave is I will leave the specs in the direct link down below so you guys could check it out the holidays are coming up Christmas the first of the year so I would say check them out and try to see if you can get you a wig for the holidays and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it I think I covered all bases hopefully that answers all of you guys questions of the differences be, be, um, between T parts lace closures and frontal wigs any questions comments concerns please leave them down below also let me know if this video was helpful did you know the difference between T parts frontal wigs and uh, closure wigs you know and if you didn't did this give you some insight on it leave all that down below guys and of course we'll have some um, discussions in the comments and I'll see y'all my next one bye guys